Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I have some super cute stamps from Kitty Bee Designs, which is on Etsy. I'll have the link down below. And this is Ruth and I actually met her in Hawaii like a couple years ago. Um, I went to a craft fair and I met her and she's super nice. So she had these on her Etsy shop as digital images and now she has some clear stamps. I think it's limited stock. So again, I'll put the link down below. Also, if you're on Oahu, um, she says she has it in Ben Franklin at the Mapuna Puna store, um, Locker 84 and 88. So if you're in Hawaii, you probably know exactly where that's at. So I thought I'd make a card with these super cute images. I think these particular ones are called, the girl is called um, Aloha Panda and the boy is Pineapple Crown. So I'm gonna ink these up with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then I always heat set everything now because I totally smear everything, I'm crazy. So I just heat set. So I wanted to color the pineapples with a little bit more of a brown tone. So I'm using Y26, Y13, and Y21 for the pineapple portion of the panda. And I think these are super cute. And this totally reminds me of me and my husband because I'm, I'm in the bigger one. <laughs> So I just love how they're pineapples and she has different designs like some of them are holding um, coffee cups and like different things and different foods and stuff and like all different kinds. So these ones were my favorite. So I'm going to color the white part of their fur with just a little bit of W00 and W1 just so it's not super white. And then I'm going to hit the cheeks up with R20, which is blush, which I totally always do the same thing. Um, and then I'm going to do the green um, tops of their heads with G14 and G16. Like I have so many greens, but none of them are right. So I'm going to have to see <laughs> what kind of greens that I need because I never get the greens right. Um, but that's what I use there. And then for her little flower lay, I'm using R11 for the lighter color and R24, the darker color. I just kind of wanted to keep the colors consistent. I think these are so adorable. I'm just going to make a simple card with these just so the images stand out. Um, and then I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to make my little background for the card. I'm also practicing this little white gel pen stuff because I'm so bad at it, but I'm going to try to do it on every card just so I get like practice. Um, I have this Lawn Fawn quilted backdrop die and I thought it looked like a pineapple, so I thought it'd be perfect. So I cut it out in like a pale yellow because I thought it looked like a pineapple. And then I backed it with craft paper and then I'm using a Lawn Fawn grass die just to make a little mound of grass. And that Aloha die cut, I believe is from Avery L. Um, but I could be wrong. I just didn't have that die labeled for some reason, but I, I do believe it's Avery L. Um, I'm just using um, just some glue to stick it down and then some foam tape to um, adhere the two images just in the middle. I just like everything in the middle and everything symmetrical. Like I can't not do that. So that's where they're going. And then it kind of looked empty in the top. So I'm going to put something there. I'm trying to figure out at this point what I'm going to do. So in the meantime, I'm just putting some Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. And um, I decided to do a little sun. And I believe this is a mama elephant die set where it came from. And I did the pale yellow, but it was too, it like kind of disappeared in the background. So I did cut that out in a lighter and a darker color of yellow just so it would stand out. And I thought it looked really good. So I was happy with that. And then I'm going to adhere some sequins to finish off the card. These are the pretty pink posh sparkling clear confetti. And I really like them because they do not have holes. <laughs> so that's my card. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you check out Kitty Bee Design. It's on Etsy and I will put the links down below.